We are back this morning dishing with the Daily Mail on this Monday. It's a bright spot for us. Alicia Quarles is joining us from New York. Good to see you as always. Good to see you as well. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. So, Reggae Jean Page, when he first burst onto the scene, we were all figuring out, how do you say his name? Is it Reggae? Is it Reggae? Is it Reggae? Now we know he's becoming a household name, and the accolades just keep pouring in. They definitely do. So over the weekend, he actually won the first acting award for Bridgerton at the NAACP Image Awards. He won Best Actor. But the best part was his response. He was so elated, and he really thanked his cast and crew and said, you know, this is the highest honor for all of us. We are royalty. We are about humanity. We are a team. So he couldn't have been more humble. Well, let's actually, I think we might have that. Let's, let's listen to him, and, and it captures his enthusiasm. Take a look. Jesus, uh, wow, congratulations to everyone in the category. Nah, man. Um, it, this absolutely goes out to all of the incredible people on our team to make, who made something so unique. It is the highest honor, the highest honor. It is the highest honor to represent us in the fullness of our humanity, of our beauty, of our joy, of our glamour, of our splendor, of our royalty, of our romance, of our love. It is the highest honor to represent that and to represent the people I do represent. And I will do my absolute best to be worthy of that. I think I fit that into the counter. Thank you. Jesus, uh, wow. Yeah, isn't that, I mean, he really seems to be embracing the notoriety that comes with this role as almost um, stepping out in front of it and saying, I now have a responsibility. Exactly, and I couldn't tell from that if he was talking about the African-American community representing or if he was talking about his cast and crew because he started the speech with cast and crew. Either way, I, I like what he's about. Yeah, yeah, he seems to be a real good guy. Now, I'm questioning whether he was really shocked. He has to be aware of all of the positive press, right? I mean, he's an actor, so I don't think he was really shocked. <laughs> I think he played it off very well, though. Yeah, um, when they put them in those boxes and you don't win, that's when the real acting comes into play, doesn't it? Totally. Um, all right, let's talk about Sharon Stone. I mean, Sharon Stone has a revelation about once a year that we go, really, what, that happened? Um, this one is a little mind-bending. So she went in for plastic surgery, and I guess the doctor decided he'd give her a bonus surgery? Oh, he did something. So this is actually coming out in her memoir, The Beauty of Living Twice, which is out tomorrow. She says in 2001, she had benign tumors and underwent surgery. She came out, and when he undid the bandages, he gave her a breast augmentation, which she didn't ask for. She questioned him. He said, oh, I thought it looked better on you, and it makes it look more proportional with your hips. So this one, I, I, like, my mouth's still open on that. I mean, I mean come on. Come on. Right. She doesn't name the doctor. I'm sure she sued him for malpractice or something, but it's pretty shocking. I was going to say, so she doesn't talk about whether she took steps against him, and I, I'm actually shocked. Now you know what will happen, Alicia. Everyone's going to be trying to figure out who that doctor is. Do you think she'll reveal it? I don't know if she'll reveal it, but you know, Daily Mail, we'll probably find out who oh, it is. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, you got the surprise. folks there to find that out. We'll There's your out. assignment for the day. Um, Demi Lovato, okay, I, I know the LGBTQ community is not going to love this because she said something that will run against the grain of, of what the community has been trying to say for a long time. You're born this way. Being gay is not a choice. She's sort of talking about her own sexuality in a way that, that kind of brings around that, gay, uh, that gray area, the gray area of gay. So what did she say, Alicia? Well, she talks about how, you know, last year, well, actually this year, no, wait, last year, excuse me, let me get it right, in 2020, she was engaged to match Matt Urich for just a couple of months. She broke off the engagement because she said, and this is her quote, she was coming to understanding with her queerness. So at the time, she said she didn't realize that she was gay and she was trying to buck the norm, but now she fully is embracing who she is as far as being um, a gay woman. So, I, you know, I don't know. She's 28. She's coming into her own. She said she's too gay to marry a man right now, which implies that at some point maybe she won't be as gay. Yeah, and she, she might marry a man she, then. Exactly. She says that she couldn't marry a cisgender man. Um, but to your point, I, I think you're born how you're born. But she's not seeming to say that. Maybe she's bisexual. Who knows? Listen, it's not for me to question. I, if someone tells me they're sexually fluid or there's fluidity there, I, I, I'm not in a position to question them. If that's where she's at, then... You do you, Demi. Well, she's happy and sober. It's all good. <laughs> you do you. All right. Thank you, Alicia. Good to see you as Thank always. You,